All right, I purchased so dang much makeup lately that I need to do some speed reviews. So this is the first video in probably several videos where I'm gonna be showing you a lot of products at once and I wanna give you my thoughts on them, but I don't want it to take an hour to do. So we're gonna do a speed review video that is hopefully under 15 minutes. So I have 20 products laid out in front of me that I've recently purchased. A lot of really new makeup. Some of it is just new to me makeup, but some of it is new makeup that's just hit the market. And if you haven't been with me before, then let me tell you about my numbering system. Each of the products that I'm about to show you has a number next to the actual name. But you don't have to remember the name or, you, or jot down the name or anything like that. Just jot down that number and then open up the description box and I will have each individual product numbered with the link next to it for easy shopping if that's what you'd like to do. And if you do decide to shop through my links, I do get a small commission and I appreciate that more than you know because it helps to keep my channel going. So thank you so much for that. Also, before we get started, I always like to show you my shirt. I'm kind of having to crouch down a little bit, so it's a little bit weird. But today, here's my top. I am wearing just a regular t-shirt, but it has a lace-up detail right here, which I like very much. I've had a lot of people ask me if I could just stand up and show it. So I'm standing up and I'm showing you what I'm wearing today. So it's really fun with that lace-up detail in it. And then you can tie it if you want to, wear it more open if you want to, or tighter. Very light fabric, and they have several different colors. All right, now I am just wearing the earrings that I've shown before. Um, when you look on my Amazon store, or when the, you look on the link, these actually look pink, but if it says that they're the purple ones, they're the purple ones. And these are perfect to go with this shirt because they're a super light purple one. All right, I think that's everything for the intro. 20 new products, and we are gonna go through these pretty darn fast. So the first product I wanna show you is the palette that I am wearing today, and it's from ColourPop, and this is one of their newer, bigger pan palettes. This is It's a Mood. This palette is a 30 pan palette, and it has so many vibrant colors in there. Today, I chose to do kind of a combination of colors. I used this as my transition color. I used this as my outer V color, and then I was going to go in with this color right here, which is kind of a... It's almost got like a green, silver, brown flash to it. And I used that one, but I also went into my inner corner with this one over here. I really do love it when they do these bigger palettes because you get so much bang for your buck. They really chose a lot of pretty and different colors and, te and textures that you wouldn't normally get. Now, granted, I am not a glitter fan, so these two aren't really my cup of tea, but everything in here I just really like. So that one was a yes for me. Like I said, some of these products are not new on the market, but they may be new to me. And that's what this Jaclyn Hill powder palette is. The powders in here are very nice powders. They're very, very soft, light powders. They do not feel cakey at all. They don't feel heavy. They just kind of blend into your skin very, very easily. Now this palette, I believe is the light one. Um, this right here is called Peach almond, light banana, and caramel. And the colors are super duper light. So you would have to be fairly fair <laughs> or light skinned in order to really pull these off. This palette is gorgeous. It works really good for me. I can set my under eyes with it. I can set all of my makeup with it and not look cakey at all. And with the summer months coming on and as I sweat a little bit, this is ideal because it doesn't have that cakiness to it. I feel like it's just a tiny bit too bulky what she does with some of these, but the powder in here is something very special. All right, I also purchased from her one of her high highlighters. And let me see, this one is called Iced. Now, we all know that Jaclyn actually started the highlighter craze with Champagne Pop and Becca Cosmetics. That was the ultimate. I feel like this is very close to the Champagne Pop. Maybe not quite as warm as that one was, but really darn close. And Jaclyn can do a highlighter. It's beautiful. I don't feel like this shows up texture when I do use it on my cheeks. I really do love the formula of this one, and I feel like she did a great job of it. Now, I did find this blush from Almay. I don't, I haven't seen this before. Maybe you guys have, maybe I just overlooked it when it came out. It has some great gradiated 
colors in here so you get a really super light pink kind of a medium light pink and then the pink down here however this one you almost need to stay down here unless you're super duper fair because it is a blush that is really light and i don't know if all of them were like that i like the color and everything i'm just not 100 percent sold on how long that lasts and that kind of goes along with my next one that's from flower beauty this is the chrome crush pressed pigments this reminded me very much of what l'oreal did with those single shadows that are the infallible ones and i thought for sure it was going to be like that but it's not quite that saturated so i feel like even though you can see on my finger it looks like it's going to be really bright you put it on and it's almost like a topper so you could put it over something like this blush right here and then get a little bit of an iridescent look or a, a shimmery metallic look on top of the shadow you're going to use but as far as it being on its own and you know you could wear it across your eyelid for a more bright look it's very very subdued the next one that i'm going to show you is one from tarte and i never heard anybody talk about this this is their shape tape glow powder and this one is in star Charlotte. Now, I this one is one that I'm like, I love it for what it was supposed to be. It isn't supposed to be a highlighter. It's supposed to be a glowy powder, but you can't set your face with it because it's too glowy. So if it was just a little less glowy, you would have a beautiful powder that you could set your face with. It's just teetering right on that edge of being a highlighter. So it's one of those powders that if you are a mature woman and everything shows up texture on you, all your highlighters, it gives you a beautiful glow without being too glowy, without being too much of a highlighter, no disco ball look here. I really love the formula of it. It feels so silky in my fingers. And it, when you put it on your skin, you'll understand what I'm talking about. It's really beautiful. The next products are two blushes from Item Beauty. I was really drawn to these because I thought that they were going to be cream blushes a very creamy blush. They're not. They're more along the lines of, okay, I'm sticking my finger in here. It doesn't feel like a cream blush. It feels like a creamy powder. And I I like them. They last a super long time. But again, there's not a lot of pigment in here. This one is called Oopsies. And it's more of a very pinky peach color. And I've really run my finger around in there. And you can see that there's a bit of pigment, but I've really gone down into there. This is not a cream. So if you're expecting a cream, I would say this is not. <laughs> this is not the one. However, this one that is called Admit It, which is a more of a mauve tone that has a bit more pigment, but not still as much as you would think. Look at the difference. You wouldn't think that that would be so much less pigmented. And again, I do not feel like this is a cream blush. I love these. I think that they are beautiful on your cheeks, but at the same time, I was a little bit confused. And as a matter of fact, I'll show you what I feel like is cream is this blush from Moira And I was so excited to get these because they just looked so pretty. This one is called uh, I miss you It's called the let's see Moira love love heat cream blushes and this one is called i miss you when i do this it's going to be so much more pigmented than the others when you start with them and you're just tapping them on lightly they are not going to look like that but if you are deeper skin that's great news because you can put more on and they're they're very pigmented they're very beautiful blushes this is definitely a cream blush you have that creamy feel to it it doesn't really set down so you've got that little bit of wet look to your cheeks that's so popular right now um it's not going to be super tacky or anything like that but if you don't like that you might want to put some setting spray on top of it and then it's beautiful and it lasts and lasts even without a setting spray this lasts and i just thought this was so pigmented and a lot of people are comparing this to the milani ones the Milani ones are a lot more balm-like. This is the definite cream product, and I think Moira did a great job on it. During the Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, I picked up a ton of Natasha Denona's lip liners, and I'm so glad I did. This particular one's called Daphne. It's from the I Need a Rose. What I absolutely love about these is they are muted tones that look so good on the lips because they're like your lips but better type situation. This one is also from I Need a Rose, and this one is Kala, and Kala is extremely nude, um, beautiful color. And then this one over here is from the actual I Need a Nude. I think this one is called 
Lona. I'm I having a hard time reading today. I apologize if it's the wrong thing, but it'll go up on the screen. I love the formula of these. They're so creamy and buttery, and I love the look of these. After that dried down on those Natasha Denona, before I swatch these, it's kind of hard to get those off. So they're gonna last. But if you've been wondering about either the I Need a Rose or I Need a Nude collection from her, I have lots of things out of those and I haven't been disappointed with one thing yet. I picked up this powder at Walmart from Hard Candy and it's called the Chilling Wonder Powder Sheer Envy Loose Powder Hydrating. I am not a huge fan of this. It does have that feeling. I don't know if you ever got the Becca powder that was supposed to have that same feeling to it where it was just kind of like um, a cool sensation as you put it on this one does have that too so it probably has the little encapsulated water particles that becca's did but if you're wanting one that is hydrating i don't feel like it's hydrating after it gets on your skin and i think that that's a little bit of a false advertisement there i do feel like it's a really good setting powder so if you're somebody that is oily and you're looking for a really good setting powder it's really soft and it's very silky but i really don't feel like it would be hydrating for somebody that's dry skin because i have very dry skin and when i tried to wear it across my forehead just to take out some of the pore look right here that i get or the shine that i get by the end of the day i was super duper dry up there and then i picked up one of the new lipsticks from anastasia beverly hills this is an absolutely gorgeous formula i cannot say enough good about this they are just silky buttery beautiful and this one is called haze it has on its undertone kind of that um hazy color I, that's the name haze duh <laughs> but it kind of has that kind of cool tone to it i guess is what i'm the word i'm looking for this is gonna just do that perfect nude look for you without being any sort of a peach nude or without being a warm nude this is a very cool toned nude and then i got sent these and these i'm really impressed by this is the new physicians formula diamond metallic liquid eyeshadow i'm gonna swatch these on this hand and you're gonna see how pigmented and beautiful these are and they're all duochrome or you know multi-chrome to them and they're so pretty this tealish bluish one look at those look at the shine on them they last once you put them on they're there for all day they you have to take them off at night i really think that this is a great formula and i am so glad that somebody finally besides high end came out with something that is an eyeshadow like that that you can use as a multi-chrome they really are a good formula i'm really shocked at how much i like them along with that they also sent me this um, strawberry jam blush which had the cutest overlay of strawberries on the top of it doesn't anymore kind of has that signature fragrance they always put a fragrance in there which i'm i'm not crazy about that but this is a pretty blush and it's just like their butter formulas so if you like those you're going to really enjoy this it blends out like a dream and it lasts a long time and these were really good that they sent me they sent me another one but it was a little bit too light so um this one is the one that i chose especially for summertime it's that bright pink and i think it's so pretty revlon a while ago came out with one of these doohickeys that had the the black on the bottom and then the stone inside that you could roll around on your face and pick up oil with which was pretty darn genius well they've come out with another one and this is a cooling roller and this morning i used this because my eyes were so puffy and i really went around and really helped my eyes you put this on and first contact it is so cooling now this doesn't have any product on there at all it's just a roller ball that they've put in there but it really truly feels really good on the skin and and especially if you have that puffy skin around your eyes, it just feels so good to be able to do a little bit of massage there and kind of take that puffiness down. Now, one of you subscribers showed me this or told me about this, excuse me, LA Colors Mineral Pressed Powder. I have mine in Fair. I am so impressed by this powder. This is a lovely, beautiful powder. This is so creamy when you press your fingers in here. Now, the, the person that told me about it said that she felt like it was a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury powder. 
it's pretty close. I compared the two and I almost put this in a dupes video, but I might still do that at a later time, but I wanted to share it with you because this is so inexpensive on Amazon. But this is a good powder, especially if you're somebody that is combo to oily, you're gonna love this. This is gonna absorb your oil. It's gonna help keep that oil at bay throughout the day. It does have a little puff in here and it has the little mirror in here as well that is so helpful because you can just throw this in your purse and then you're kind of like one and done on your touch-ups this highlighter from pixie beauty this is what i have on underneath my blush and i did wear the moira blush today so i have this one from pixie beauty it's called glowy powder and it's in rose dew the texture of this i just can't get over it when i'm dipping my finger in there i can't get over how beautiful the texture is this is a very bright kind of rosy color they have a lot of different colors that you can choose from but i really love this i think that underneath blush this just looks exceptional because it gives you that really beautiful glow you look very like lit from within without looking too glowy I didn't put this anywhere else on my face. I just stayed on the top of my cheeks there. So this that you're seeing up here is just the lights that are hitting my forehead. This one is beautiful and you can get these at Target. I do have a couple of like, all the way fails in this video this is from rimmel and this is their stay plumped lip gloss now it does have that plumping effect when you put it on you can feel that your lips are tingling a little bit i cannot handle the fragrance on this and i am not somebody that ever worries about fragrance this is like a cinnamon nutmeg hot spice hot tamale candy smell and i love hot tamales but this is like uh, the most fake cinnamony clovey smell ever and i just couldn't handle that it was a pretty gloss it does exactly what it says it glosses and it plumps a little bit but for me this one failed very badly and then another fail was from lys this is their gripping primer this pilled underneath my makeup so even when i was trying to rub it in and you know get my pores kind of blurred out, you know, kind of press it into my pores like you do when you're doing your makeup. It peeled up almost immediately. So I thought, well, I'll put this on with something else. So I put it on with a sponge and was real careful not to rub it around. And then I put my makeup on over it. It peeled my makeup immediately. And throughout the day, I had it on my neck one time and I went down to touch my neck and it was just like everything just came off in my fingers in pills. And I was just like, okay, no, uh -uh, I'm not going to do that. I wore this like four times and the fourth time I was like, that's just not gonna happen for me. <laughs> I picked up these glosses from Buxom during the 21 Days of Beauty. And today I have on this color right here, which I am gonna, Jennifer is who I have on. That's one of my cousin's names. So this is so pretty. And I just filled in my lips with it. It's one of those glosses for me. I love Buxom's glosses. I love their formula. I don't mind that cooling sensation that you get. And this one is Princess. Let me swatch these on my hand. Princess is a lot lighter. It looks very much like a topper. It's kind of got a little bit of reflect of almost grape in there. That's kind of silver, silver grape. Let's call it that. And then Jennifer is kind of more like a medium bright pink with pink um, iridescence in it. And this one actually almost a gold iridescence in it. So you can see the two of them right there. Buxom's glosses aren't meant to be like a very bright cream color on your lips or a very bright lip gloss on your lips. They're really meant to just give you that hint of color along with your gloss and the gloss benefits of it are what I love. So that was number 20. I hope that you did enjoy the speed reviews. Have you yourself recently purchased any makeup that we need to know about? I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. Is there anything here that you're thinking about getting or you've maybe thought about getting and now you might not be? <laughs> Let me know that as well. I really love to hear that from you. Hope everybody is doing well, that you're happy and that you're healthy. Please take care of yourselves and come back to see me really soon in my next video. I love you very much. Goodbye, my friends. <music>